Breaking Bad is not Let me tell you something, duck me old boy. <laughs> Today, I watched, because uh, I hadn't seen it since it came out. Mm. It's one of the worst programmes that, that was ever made. Oh dear. And it was back in 90, about 1976. And it was a programme starring Arthur Mallard. Mm. Right? Queenie Watts, I think her name was. Mm. And Mike Reed, the old yeah, comedian. Yeah, I remember Mike Reed. And the programme was called Yus, My Dear. Well, I've never heard of it. You've never heard of it, son? Is there a reason for that? I'll tell you, there's a reason it's for really that. Really bad. There's a reason for that, and that is it was shat. But, but. Brilliant. Shit but brilliant. Shit but brilliant. What? Oh. Shit but brilliant, my boy. So bad it was good. So bad it was good. Blimey. So bad. I mean, Arthur Mullard is such a bad actor, but mm. beautiful. <laughs> is it, just, is it oh, really like no, no, cringe-making no. stuff, is it? Well, it ain't cringy. It's just... It's just... It's fucking brilliant. Oh, oh so Are you recommending that to our listeners? I'll you? recommend it to anyone who wants to watch something that's just Shat. so bad, but, but so good. It's called Yas, my dear. Yas, and my it, dear. And it, it's yeah. called Yas, my And he walks and he goes, I've been out all day at work. I want a cheese sandwich. So, no, you can't have a cheese sandwich. We've got to go out later on. Yas, my dear. But I want a cheese sandwich now. You can't have a cheese sandwich. Well, they go on about a cheese sandwich for about ten minutes. It's all it's alive. Fucking awful. Oh, that's brilliant, boy. Then he goes up. He's in the bath. Arthur's in the bath. Do you remember Arthur, my lad? No. Oh, you can. No, I don't remember oh, Arthur. You, oh, you don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, do you? No, of course I don't. It's know. Arthur Mullard, boy. I remember Mike Reed, but I don't remember Arthur Mullard. Arthur Mullard, he, 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 he was an old, he was an old geezer, but a boxer. Yeah. He's an old, he's an old actor. Uh, he used to be in all the old films. I must have seen him then. Oh, you, oh God, you must have seen Arthur Mullard. Have you ever seen Arthur Mullard and Hilda Baker doing the... Hang on a minute. <laughs> no, I can't say I've heard oh, of that. Oh, Sam, I've got a well funny trick. Oh, 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 I've got a treat for you. Oh, nice. Uh, do you remember the old uh, John Travolta and um, the Remember Newton John? Oh, what, well, Grease thing? You're the one that I want. Yeah. Well, Arthur Mullard and Hilda Baker... Ew. Yeah, 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 I've heard of Elder Baker, yeah. Well, they did a parody of it. What? Is this a bit of gold, is it? Oh, fuck me. I've got it. I know I've got it. Well, we've gone from Breaking Bad to some shat programme. Who's watched? Well, that's brilliant. Yeah, there you go. Oh, you found there you go. it. I found it. I found oh, it. Go on, then. Now, fucking clap your ears around this point. Oh, God. You're probably the original. I got chills, then I'm all the Right? Yeah, no, the film version was bad enough, but carry on. How about this? How about this? Hilda Baker and Arthur Mallard. I got chills, they're multiplying, and I'm losing. Cause the power you're supplying It's electrifying You better shape up Cause I need a man Oh, and my heart is set on you Better shape up You better understand To my heart I must be true Nothing left, nothing left for me to do If you're filled with infection, you're too sly to convey medicate in my direction. Feel your way. I better shape up, cause you need a man. I need a man. 
So I got that. That's oh, fuck it. It's no. awful, right? Yeah, it's good, but it's so, awful. So, awful, but good. No, oh, no, I ain't gonna get any good. Well, I'll just do the, see if I can get this over here. Oh, no. Just here, set this up. Watch this. Now you see where it is. You see where it is. You heard half of my arm. Yeah, I heard him, yeah. You heard him, right? Now you're gonna see him. Oh, God. Yeah. Once you see the Yeah, yeah. After just watch the opening of it. Oh, right. hang on, we got a message here from somebody. Oh, yeah, who's that? Hello, boy. Have a look. Oh, yeah. It's from. If we had listeners, I'm sure they've gone. Yeah, look, so that. fucking awful, it's genius. Oh, yes, yeah, right. Yeah, that? I that's think that's probably Gav. That's very true. Yeah, Gav, innit, son? I'm just, I'm just going to show Dunk. The, uh, the opening episode, you might, you'll might be able to hear it here, hang oh, on. Right. Yeah, on. The opening episode of Yes My Dear, right? Oh no. Here we go, here we go. Oh dear. Yes My Dear. Don't tell I know, just tell I Yes My Dear. And you'll be cosy as two bucks in a rug. I've seen him. Of course you've seen him. Oh, of course I know who Arthur Mallard is. Where the fuck? What's the sound of? I don't know, boy. It's frozen, isn't it? Why is it frozen? You lent on it or something? Oh, I know why. You can't have it going at the same time. That is hard, isn't it? No, don't bother. Well, that was him anyway. Oh, yeah, I know who he is. You know who he is, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, for my lord, yes, my dear. That's actually better than the Grease film itself, that song. It's much better. Hang on a minute, what's the matter with Grease the film? Oh, it's not my cup of tea. What do you mean? Oh, I'm not in the musicals, am I? You're a fucking load of shit, you are. I like the Blues Brothers, of course, that's an exception. Dumb musicals? I'm not a fan of them, boy, no. Just... No, well, you're, a f- you're one of these geezer, you're a geezer bloke, aren't you? you like well, geezer. I'm not saying it, not Yeah! Well you like all geezer things as you're a geezer <laughs> you're, you're a you're a farmer so yeah but you hold on like this is this will this will sort you out that's that's yeah that's impressive <laughs> that's that was bad that was breaking bad yeah, it was breaking something Break your broke the chair i think yeah half of my lord yeah i remember him now I remember you remember him now recognize him yeah when i worked with mike reed the, the year before he died i think it was Shame that. Yeah, well, I think I was the one that pushed him over the edge. Probably, yeah. No, but um, I went to his dressing room and I sat there and he was, he was quite, it was, it was, it was uh, sad really because he was, he, he looked really, he looked fucking absolutely pissed off with life. He was down, wasn't he? He was down, and um, all right, mate. He was like, yeah, all right, son, yeah, yeah, a bit fucking pissed off. Here we go again, you know. Mm. And I said, yeah, listen, I said, uh, I'm a big fan of. I've said, I remember you doing a sitcom in the 70s called Yas My Dear with Arthur Mullard. I bet that cheered me. <laughs> it didn't. But that fucking oh, ticked no, my the edge. What a load of shit that was. Yeah. I said, yeah, but it was great. I loved it. He was great, in it, Mike Reed. It was terrible. Well, I might have to watch some now. You've ah. Brought my attention to it. He was that. He was that bad. Gav just. Uh, Gav just text us and said it's so fucking awful it's genius yeah you get some stuff that's like that didn't you of course you do yeah but um yeah we've we'll changed tv shows stru- uh, immediately there yeah, went from one great show to to a bad one so what got you watching that then just um from the past just i was uh what was i watching i'll tell you what, i was watching some old eastenders Oh God! To, uh, Things are really going downhill. No, 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 I like to have a little look there and you know on the thing. Watching it's... Eastenders once is bad enough. Uh, but uh, I watched some old ones from. Again. Well, I was from. Now, well, what you know, what I was interested in seeing is that f- the way Phil Mitchell <clears throat> as I thought. Do you know what? When I first remember Phil Mitchell and Eastenders, he was a nice bloke in it. Was he? Yeah, yeah. And, I, and I look back on it and I, and I was right. He was. He looks completely different. Mm. He's a completely. He's skinny. And he's he's got he's a nice bloke in it, oh. and all of a sudden he turns into his fucking monster. <laughs> that don't happen, does it in real life, or does it? I don't well, know. people change, but you, anyway, you can't class East End as real life. Jesus, <laughs> let me ask you a question: Was the idea opening the door to make us as cold as humanly possible, <laughs> <laughs> or you know, no, not really? Did you think it was like mid July or something? <laughs> Are well, you cold, are you, boy? Well, I'm a bit fucking cold, yeah. Go on, I'll shut it up then. What was the idea? No idea. Because I was having a fag. 
Oh, that might have been part of it, yeah. So what not, was the other part of so it? So we're not sitting in the It's all right for you sitting in your fucking great big overcoat. <laughs> and I'm sat here in my T-shirt like a cunt. Well, you're a bit bigger than me. You're all right, aren't you? No, I'm not all right. Well, That's nice all right. coffee and warm you up. My coffee's gone. Oh. So Robbo's not happy at the moment. He's, uh, he's having terrible trouble oh with his van. What's happened to it? Well, it's fucked. Oh, right. It's broken down. So, uh... I called him up earlier, I said, oh, yeah. I know from your son. And he said, oh, he didn't sound happy. Did he not? No, 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 no. He sounded very, very unhappy. Not good. See, he's a cunt like you, I'm telling you there. Which one? Him, this prick. Oh, yeah. With a beard, little... What's his name? Can't remember his name. Oh, it's Robbo. Robbo, oh, yeah. The Robbo's listening. You two are big, big cunts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, he knows. That's the boy. No well, pleasantries from Robbo. You're just going to get slayed well, into as the I was hills. Just, as I was just saying, Robs, deeply missed here, son. Yeah, he's deeply missed. I mean, really, truthfully, what you should have done is come and aired your problems on here and really gone fucking mad about it. He you likes know. going pot You he? know, that's what I would have expected, really. Mm. Is the Robbo to come here and say, well, a fucking bad fucking day. <laughs> These cunts at the fucking garage piss me off. Don't my fucking van. I'll do it for you. Yeah. Don't my sure fucking van in. The fucking cunts. They're out of fucking sort of people out. You know, I'm really gone for he'll it. He'll go for it. He'll be up. He'll catch up. Yeah. Sure. Mind you, he said he couldn't get here because he's... Uh, has his car gone wonky? Well, I think his dad's away, he said. Oh, I see. Oh, dear. Well, uh, yeah. He is missed. I mean, you know, I don't mind you here, but, you know, you're a cunt, really, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> you're a cunt, really, aren't you? Yeah. Oh, he's on the he's on the go here. And look, he, he's here in yeah, spirit. He's, he's here tomorrow, he said. Oh, nice. Folks, if you're listening, the Robbo will be, will be resuming... Normal position tomorrow evening. Tomorrow evening, the nice. will be back, which I'm I'm very pleased to hear. Yeah, are well, you pleased to hear that? Ooh, well, that I won't have to person. fucking see you, will I? That lovely bald head, you little bald head, oh. didn't you, boy? I mean that fucking head. It's the best head, isn't it? Oh yeah. Oh, you fucking Look at cunt. That lovely head. Oh, oh it's a beautiful shape. It's better than Tell's head, isn't it? So you reckon? Well, hang on a minute. How would you put me in trouble? <laughs> Get me in fucking trouble already with that. Well, I don't know. I don't know. T- He's not going to be listening, is he? I don't care if he does listen. I'll you said mine's a better head, shape. Your, ear is, your head is a better shape. But he keeps his a little bit more better. Yeah, he does. He must do his every day. He's very, very smooth, his head. He's very smooth. His head is very smooth. Yours is a little bit... Yeah, it's a couple, well, of, day, a couple of days' mind. worth. There's a couple of days' worth there. It's a little bit, yeah. little bit fuzzy. A bit fuzzy around the edges. Tells is very, very smooth. Yeah. Very, like, a, like a billiard ball it is. Yes. But yours is a lovely shape and colour. Yeah. His is a lot more power. Yours is a bit big, big red, red head. Fuck. Red. Big fucking oh. red fucking head. Oh, it's not a fucking cup. It's a nice head. Oh, yeah. So, uh, all the listeners gone to bed now, have they? No, we've got listeners. Don't you worry, boy. I'm sure we have. I'm sure they're missing the robo. Well, of course. Yeah. Just playing random, just playing random stuff. I still think he's a cunt, personally. Well, obviously, yes, he knows that. He'd be the first one to uh, mm. to admit it. Yeah, Don't I need to see him and give him a bit of abuse. Actually, he's no good on I'm the other sure end he, of the phone, is he? I'm sure he needs to see you. Unless he's ring abuse. up, he'd be live on air if he rung up. Nah, he won't ring up. Cause he's not he's, ring up. Nah, he's, he's not in the mood. Not in the mood at all. Nah, nah, nah. When the Robbo's, well, let me tell you something about the Robbo. When when he's when he's when he's a bit depressed, he don't really want to go near him. Go in his shell. No, no, he's 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 best left, left he's best to his left, own devices. Best left to his own devices. He 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 sort it out. But um, no. this is uh, this is Paul McCartney from the Ram album, mm. uh, the first song on the Ram album, and it's uh, it's it's really having a dig at John Lennon. Oh, it's the fir- he was the first one to start that. Because yeah. I don't know if you know, but they had a a riff. In the early 70s, mm. when they split up, and Paul McCartney wrote this. Uh, too many people. I think we've got the one that John Lennon replied with. I'm not sure. But uh, he wrote Too Many People, 
which I'm going to play, and John Lennon then came back at him with, how do you sleep? Oh. And, uh, 